Hey everyone, today I want to show you a cool trick in Excel called text to column. And what this does is it will take a cell like we have here that has maybe one or two or multiple words and it will split it out in different cells. So rather than having Joe Madsen in one cell, it would break it out so that cell is in multiple columns. So all you have to do to use the text to column shortcut is just select the data that you want. So we're gonna select this range of names here and you'll we'll just click on the data tab on the home screen and we just go to text to columns. So that's all I have to do is click on it. And it's gonna ask, um, would you like delimited or fixed width so we're going to go with delimited today because it's going to let us separate by characters where we're fixed with is just based on criteria space that you set it up click on that it, it allows you to create column breaks and whatnot so that's not that's not what we want to do right now so we're going to go uh, and do delimited so we're going to hit next and it's going to ask us the screen lets you set the parameters okay so it's asking what do you want the delimiter to be or in other words, what, what do you want to trigger the text to columns? So in these names, we just have a space that's separating them. So we're going to go ahead and just click on space. We can click comma. So you'll see that a line, there's a line down here in the preview feature, and it shows that that's split up. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. Then it's asking if we want to make certain changes to the text there. We're, we're going to leave it as is, and we'll just hit finish. There you go. It just goes ahead and it breaks it out into multiple multiple cells. So again, this is very, very useful when you are trying to, when you're maybe copy and pasting data from a, a PDF or from a Word document where it's not going to properly paste into an Excel cell. So this is easy. It makes it very simple to go in and, and kind of separate that out so that you're able to use those cells in a way that you can break it out into multiple columns. So another example of the text column feature in Excel is, let's say you have maybe not a space or but but a comma. We're gonna go ahead and use this data set that has three names in it. You know, if you were to use your first, middle, last name. Um, again, we just go to data, text to columns, and again, we want to use the delimited, the delimited feature there. So we just hit next. So this time, rather than using a space, we want to use a comma. And so we'll just go to that. So it'll separate it by the comma rather than the space this time. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. And then it's asking us, you know, again, some of the column data format, how do we want to format it? But it's also asking us what the destination we want is. So right now it's saying it's just going to separate it out where it is. Well, let's say we want to separate separate it out somewhere else in the sheet. All we have to do is click on the location area. Then we'll just click E14. We'll go ahead and hit enter. So destination equals E14. We'll just hit finish. And then it will separate it all out there. So now we have those names separated out. So again, this is a very cool, a uh, very useful feature in Excel that's going to save you a lot of time as you are copying data from other places, maybe outside of Excel, like a, a Word or a PDF, and will save you a lot of time to be able to, to get it into Excel. So well, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions uh, around this feature, and please subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks, and have a great day.